I need everybody to hear this. It is not polk. It is not the hokey pokey. It is pronounced poke. 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 Now that we have cleared the air, I'm going to give you a little history. Back in the day, fishermen would prepare poke right on their boats using just sea salt and seaweed. Very, very simple. Okay, you see he's throwing the net, he's going to catch the fish, gut it, clean it, dice it, sea salt, seaweed, poke it, done. It wasn't until the Asian influences like the Japanese and the Koreans when they came, they turned the ahi out. <laughs> they started adding sesame oil, soy sauce, and all those other things that make poke what it is today. Well, let's get into the recipe. We are diving into the heart of Hawaiian cuisine with this one. So simple to make. Whether you're local or just someone that loves exploring different foods, this video is for you. Ahi is how tuna is referenced in Hawaiian, whether you have yellow fin, blue fin, big eye, ahi is the term. Poke just means to dice. So together, ahi poke means diced tuna. And that's the first step that you want to do to prepare the dish. I have some fresh yellow fin that is wild caught. The type of cut is what's going to make your poke enjoyable, so the less sinew, the better. Not to sound bougie, but when I go home, I like to enjoy my poke bowls that are made with the toro, the belly of the fish. That is the creme de la creme, the best cut. That is what makes raw fish so amazing, okay? But here in the States, can't find it, and it's probably going to be very expensive, so we settle for the akami. The sekami or the senaka, either one of those cuts will get you a good poke bowl. Now, if you go to Walmart and get the ones in the package, I've done this before, um, it's still good. It's just not as enjoyable because the cut of the ahi is so low quality and then there's so much sinew. Um, it's workable, doable, but not as great. Now in the world of poke, it is your oyster. You do whatever you like, add in whatever you like, how much ever you like, any kind, your way, more better, because you're the one eating it, right? All I ask is this specific group of people do not add raisins. Um, you know who you are. Any one of these major mix-ins is preferably what you should put in poke. Raisins is not one of them, so please. Anyways. Today, I am making a shoyster version and a California version. The base to the poke is just sesame oil, soy sauce, a little bit of ginger, sweet onion, and spring onion. Anything after that is a plus, and it's totally customizable to what you like. When you are done creating your poke, you can put it in the ice box, let it chill for 20 minutes, or excuse me, put it in your refrigerators, <laughs> let it chill out for a second, let it marinate, and then you can go on to create your poke bowl. Hot rice, furukake, I got side of cucumbers with mine, you could add extra avocado, and then just enjoy it as is with a chopstick. That is it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.